What's going on guys in the works, and if you can tell by that intro clip, something's wrong with the kill cams. They just don't seem like they're working right. But we're going to be talking about the patch today, which has, has goofed things up a little bit. And we're also going to discuss some of the new weapons, specifically the ARX-160, which is the new assault rifle in the Naval Strike DLC. So if you're on PC, the latest patch will actually let you unlock this. It's actually not that hard to unlock, it just kind of takes some grinding. You have to get three assault rifle ribbons, which is the equivalent of 18 kills in any given round. Now you can break this up, you know, you can get six kills in one round, six kills in another round, six kills in the third round to get your 18 kills total. Uh, but that's all it takes, is three assault rifle ribbons. And I actually suggest for the second part of the assignment to try out the SCAR-H, because you need to get 20 assault rifle headshots. And I found the SCAR-H actually does it the best. I mean... It's one of my favorite weapons, so maybe I'm just good with it, although I was a little bit rusty when filming this, as you can tell by that horrible, horrible accuracy right there. Um, but it's a, it's a good way to kind of grind out your 20 headshots, which I actually consider the hardest part of this particular assignment. But let's talk about the patch, and I'm going to reserve my opinion on the patch towards till towards the end of the video because I want to talk about you guys, because before I made this video, I asked you guys on Twitter and Facebook, how do you feel Battlefield 4 plays with this latest patch compared to when Battlefield 4 were first released? Do you feel like it actually plays worse? It was a very mixed bag. I would say the majority of you guys said it was worse. And I would always say the vocal majority is always going to be the ones that talk about problems. That's just the way it is. But an interesting thing was, is a lot of PlayStation 4 players actually felt like the game was better. So on one hand, we've got a lot of PC players and uh, Xbox One players who say, hey, the game runs worse than when it first released. And we've got PS4 players that say it runs a lot better. So I think depending on what system you play on, you'll have a different opinion on the game as, as a whole. So, you know, don't take anything that we talk about today as set in stone. This is just merely people's opinions. But it does feel like a lot of people felt like the game is in a worse state than when the game first released. And, you know, this patch was interesting to me because, like I said, I'm going to reserve my opinion towards the end. But I felt like it made a lot of good changes. Um, you know, it, it changed the magnum. It changed some of the, you know, the tactical grenade stuff. Um, you can see here, let's let's cut into some clips here with the magnum and the flashbangs in, in particular. And the impact grenades, they actually increased the damage on the impact grenades. Because you can see now that it does a lot more damage than it used to. So, uh, if you shoot someone then, then try to finish them off with an impact grenade, now it looks like you're going to be a lot more successful. And you may notice the flashbangs. They work a lot better now. They actually do something. As opposed to in the in the past, it didn't, you know, it didn't really stun them a whole lot. So, flashbangs are a, a lot more attractive option especially on no explosive metro servers now the one thing changed that i like the most was the magnum and the rex can shoot much quicker now that weird little delay that was there it's no longer there you can actually be efficient with the magnum now so that's some of the good things about the patch but i did mention on twitter that i felt like battlefield 4 had kind of become a tactical shooter and i hate to make every video sort of like a complaint um but, you know, I want to be honest with you guys, and it's important to be honest. That's why I pulled you guys to get your opinion to bring you into this video. So it wasn't just me sitting on the soapbox saying, oh, Battlefield 4 sucks. Because in reality, there's still a lot of problems. You know, I know they're still addressing the netcode, but this latest patch has made it so that you die almost instantaneously in every engagement. <laughs> I mean, I say every, and it's probably like 95% of my engagements. I feel like it's a struggle to kill people. I feel like in Battlefield 3, it was very fluid. You saw someone, you were first to shoot, you were on point, you had an accurate shot. You typically did win the battle, whereas in Battlefield 4, I almost feel like I want to avoid engaging people head on you're, you're better off engaging people from behind and even then you sometimes run into problems so um i personally am not a fan of this patch and i say that as honestly as i can possibly say it um as a battlefield fan i i you know it's interesting i i, I read the battle log forums a lot and there's an in, there's one person in particular who likes to claim that i'm a battlefield for apologist and it's interesting to me because this person is obviously a very educated person who doesn't watch my videos because I've been very critical on a lot of the problems that are in the Battlefield games. And I'm a, I'm a fan of the game. I want it to get better, but this patch was a step backwards, at least in my opinion, um, from what we, we had. I mean, it, it's like every time we take a step forward, it seems like the next patch brings it back. Because I was starting to feel a lot better about where Battlefield was in terms of like gunplay. Uh, but now it's almost like I said, a tactical shooter, like a ghost recon type 
type engagement. You see someone, uh, you you know, you often die. I mean, if they see you first, boom, you're dead. It's it's as quick as that. I mean, uh, with the broken kill cams now, which you saw at the beginning of the video. Sometimes you'll look like someone's standing behind a wall and you'll get shot and you'll be like, well, wait, how did that guy kill me? Or it'll say you got killed by an F-35 and it's a dude driving around in a, in a buggy on the ground and you're like, wait, what's going on here? There's something wrong with the kill cams. There's a lot more latency when it comes to gunplay as a whole. So there are a lot of problems and I am going to be the first to admit that I think this patch was a complete failure. And I don't like videos to be negative, but I like to be honest, and I personally don't think this patch was good at all. So I agree with a lot of you guys. A lot of the sentiment out there was that they would prefer to have, you know, the first couple of patches or even when the game first released. And I know when the game first released, there's a lot of crashing problems. And that stuff's pretty much gone. I almost never crash anymore, which is a good thing. So all the technical problems, they're out of the way. But there's still the core aspect of netcode and, and gunplay, which I just think ruins the core experience of Battlefield. So that's my little spiel on the uh, on the patch. Uh, I tried to stay as open-minded about it as possible to avoid sounding like a complete whiner. But I think in the gaming community, we have to be honest with each other. I mean, if we were to sit here and say, "Oh, it's great," you get considered, you know, you get considered a butt kisser who's trying to say, you know, cover up for dice and just support the game. When in reality, there's a lot of problems here. So I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. Let me know what your opinions are, though, uh, because I've noticed there's a lot of different, you know, depending on what machine you have, you know, just where you're at in the country, a lot of people have been having better results. I've tried many different servers. Some servers have worked. Some servers haven't worked. Um, so it has been an interesting journey to say the least. So if you have an opinion on the patch, be sure to leave it in the comments. I am a very open-minded person when it comes to discussing games. I think that's how we uh, have intelligent conversations. But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I know I got a little long-winded towards the end. Um, but overall, I'm excited to play Naval Strike. Not excited about this patch. It kind of killed my, my enthusiasm going towards this new DLC. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll try to stay positive moving forward. But if you missed my last videos, here's a chance to catch up. I did a G36 underused weapons video the other day. Highly suggest you check that out. And if you want to see what I'm up to on my second channel, I actually started a new playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, which was a very popular request from a lot of you guys. So check either of those out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.